The opening sequence of the film provides a gripping insight into a pivotal event. It recounts how the U.S. Air Force executed a highly potent non-nuclear bomb drop within a remote expanse of Afghanistan. According to official declarations, the bomb's purpose was to eradicate a significant insurgent stronghold in the region. The narrative then shifts to the compelling story of two fighter pilots, Captain Kate Sinclair and Johnson from the Royal Air Force. They find themselves patrolling the skies over Afghanistan when they suddenly come under attack by Afghan insurgent groups. Their aircraft is hit compelling both pilots to eject and parachute to the ground. Kate upon impact experiences a surreal vision involving her mother and son. Shortly thereafter, Johnson awakens her from unconsciousness but their respite is short-lived as they find themselves encircled by armed insurgents. Sensing the impending danger, Johnson instructs Kate to feign death while he attempts to engage their assailants. Tragically this decision proves fatal as Johnson is promptly killed. With one of the insurgents closing in on her, Kate swiftly eliminates the threat with her firearm. Using the fallen insurgent's body as a shield, she confronts the remaining assailants ultimately neutralizing them. Having vanquished her adversaries Kate bids a poignant farewell to her fallen comrade before embarking on her perilous journey. She endeavors to re-establish contact with her base, but her attempts prove futile. Meanwhile, one of the insurgents appears to have survived the initial confrontation and urgently summons reinforcements. Soon Kate spots the approaching insurgent reinforcements, prompting her to seek refuge within a bunker, its entrance marked with enigmatic Russian warnings she cannot comprehend. The bunker's door is heavily fortified and before Kate can even contemplate opening it, the insurgents open fire forcing her to seek cover behind a metal container. In the midst of a harrowing shootout one of the insurgents deploys a rocket launcher, which inadvertently breaches the bunker's entrance. Kate seizes this momentary opportunity to slip inside the darkness of the bunker. Armed with a glow stick she descends into the depths of the underground facility in a bid to evade her relentless pursuers. As she ventures deeper into this enigmatic place she encounters various Russian inscriptions some beds and a row of gas masks. Before long, she stumbles upon the decomposed remains of a scientist whose identity becomes clear through the discovery of Russian notes and a portable hard drive that she opts to secure. Further investigation reveals that the bunker served as a testing laboratory for human subjects, as evidenced by the presence of numerous pods containing lifeless bodies. Before she can fully grasp the gravity of the situation, the insurgents make their way into the lab. They too, are deeply disturbed by the grim contents they uncover. Seizing the moment Kate incapacitates one of the insurgents and procures his firearm. In the midst of a hail of gunfire one of the pods shatters releasing a grotesque humanoid figure. As Kate exhausts her ammunition she makes a daring escape by entering a ventilation duct. In the ensuing chaos the awakened figure reveals itself as a nightmarish long-clawed and flesh-hungry monster. It swiftly dispatches one of the insurgents and feeds on his remains. Meanwhile another insurgent manages to apprehend Kate, but she resourcefully employs a flare to subdue him. She makes her way to the basement but as she reaches the surface, overwhelmed by fear she sprints toward the exit door and narrowly eludes the clutches of the ravenous creature. However her escape is not without cost as she sustains injuries in the process. Fending off the monster with a few well-placed shots, she secures the door with chains. Her respite is short-lived as she is confronted by an insurgent named Kabir who is waiting for his comrades. However upon spotting the approaching creature he hastily retreats. Despite her pain Kate embarks on a perilous journey through the desert terrain eventually reaching a road. Some time later she is discovered by a team of American soldiers dispatched to search for the missing pilots. They escort her to their base camp where she encounters Major Roy Finch the commanding officer. She recounts the harrowing events she endured but the Major remains skeptical. Nevertheless he takes possession of the hard drive she recovered. Shortly thereafter Sergeant Tom Hook vouches for Kate but the Major remains dubious. In the midst of this the battalion apprehends Kabir and brings him to the camp for questioning. A medic named Kip attends to Kate's injuries and during their interactions, she implores Kabir to share his knowledge of the monstrous entity. 
however Kabir remains reticent. Moments later Tom enters the tent and engages Kate in conversation about the enigmatic sign on the bunker door. With her photographic memory, she deciphers the sign and only Kabir comprehends its significance, do not open. He proceeds to reveal that the Soviets were the architects of the sinister situation. Tom is quick to deduce that the bunker must be approximately 30 years old, and no human could endure inside for such a protracted period without provisions. Kabir insists that whatever lurks below is not human. Under the cover of night more creatures emerge from their pods within the bunker and begin their ascent. Meanwhile back at the military base camp the Major receives a discharge letter from his superiors. In response he decides to leverage the hard drive discovered by Kate against his superior. At the same time Kate and Kip interrogate Kabir, who asserts that he had not shot down their aircraft and is merely a driver working for the insurgents to protect his family. Outside the camp soldiers stand guard against potential threats. Suddenly one soldier vanishes and another spots a monstrous entity prompting an alarm. The entire unit swiftly assumes combat positions and opens fire, but the creatures prove too agile deftly evading the hail of bullets. Tom contacts the Major to request backup but their radio tower falls prey to the relentless monsters rendering communication impossible. The situation becomes increasingly dire as soldiers fall victim to the swift-moving adversaries. Kip rushes to assist the wounded soldiers and assigns Kate the task of watching over Kabir. Shortly after a monstrous creature infiltrates the medical tent and ensnares Kate with its elongated tongue. Fortunately Kabir manages to retrieve a knife severing the creature's tongue and dispatching it. Following this, Kate reunites with Tom and the other survivors. Tom and Kip decide to rescue the Major who is locked in a life-or-death struggle with one of the creatures. They reach him in the nick of time and dispatch the creature, preventing it from claiming the Major's life. Faced with the overwhelming numbers of these monsters, the team makes the fateful decision to seek refuge within an empty cargo container. As they prepare to seal themselves in Jones volunteers to hold the door shut, allowing the rest of the team to escape. Racing down a corridor they encounter more creatures hatching from their pods, prompting the soldiers to retreat hastily. They secure the hallway door but realize that someone must stay behind to maintain it. Tom hears the explosion and hides inside a compartment, narrowly escaping the flames that consume the creature. The team members at the elevator face their own challenges as they come under attack from the relentless monsters. They instruct Kip to hoist them up but he finds himself embroiled in a firefight with the insurgents who have entered the vehicle. Kip manages to eliminate one of the insurgents and activate the elevator, but the vehicle is hoisted along with it, inadvertently resulting in the demise of everyone except Kate, who narrowly escapes by leaping away. Kate reunites with Tom and the two sees the elevator wire to ascend. Upon emerging from the bunker they spot the insurgents on the brink of executing Kip. In the nick of time they open fire eliminating the insurgents and rescuing their teammate. Seconds later they witness a fighter plane dropping a missile nearby compelling the trio to commandeer the insurgents vehicle and flee. A massive explosion ensues which they suspect was orchestrated by the government to eradicate all evidence of the bunker's existence. Kate however remains undeterred as she possesses the hard drive, entrusted to her by the late Major.